Hey everybody, welcome back to Dave's Small Engines. Today I want to share with you a project that has been sitting on my shelf for one and a half, two years, just since the start of the pandemic, really. This is my Steel 056 AV, electronic quick stop. Now this is an older saw, uh, 81 cc, so it's pretty big, 4.9 horsepower, which in today's terms isn't that much for that size of a saw. Um, but a large torquey saw. The problem with this saw and with this generation of saw is in the ignition module. Symptoms include a saw that runs perfectly when it's cold, but as it starts to heat up, um, it starts to bog down. I did some investigation, I put a new carb kit on it, then I, I had never seen an issue with ignition components before. And so I did some more searching on the internet and the situation occurs when the uh, capacitors in the ignition module heat up um, and then causes uh, misfires or a degradation in the spark, which in turn causes the saw to bog down and then eventually not run at all. So the website down in the comments below has a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to replace the capacitors in the ignition system. However, after some long Google searching, I found a company out of Germany who actually sells the ignition module and I have it right here. So this complete ignition module is supposed to be a plug and play, bolt on and go solution for this chainsaw. So the name of this company is Sagan Spetsy, or Sagan Spetsy, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. I don't speak German and I can't even do a good German accent. But um, the biggest issue that I had getting this part was that they were not shipping overseas during the pandemic. So finally, as the restrictions and everything are listing and they're able to ship stuff, uh, I put one of these on order immediately um, I had been sending emails back and forth with the fellow for a, almost a year, I think, um, trying to get my hands on one of these. So I'm super excited to get it in the saw. So let me show you what I'm going to do. Let's do it and let's see if it runs. All right, so here's where I'm at with the saw. I've got a couple bolts missing here because I had it disassembled. I don't have the um, sprocket cover on yet. But what I'm after is under the pull starter. Here's a better look at that module. So again, I've had this apart, so it'll come out apart pretty easily for me, I hope. I've just got the one holding that on, but there's another one here and another screw at the top. What would this be if I didn't have my parts pile over here on my nice blue cloth? So a 19 mil on the flywheel. And again, this is loose because I have had this off, but I wanna show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so here is the ignition module. And by ignition module, I guess you could say it's also the coil, one and the same, really. So it looks like there's two flat heads down here. Crack them with the big one here. There we go. I'll spin them out with the smaller so it doesn't rub on the sides. Feels like it's attached here still. Ah oh, yes, it's plugged in. Okay, so this wire runs up to the kill switch. What I might do is cut it here and then install a butt connector. That would work for me for the kill switch. Okay, so these are the two ignition modules. New technology versus old maybe. So we have less room than I thought. So I'm actually just gonna strip this wire and solder it directly to the new module. Okay, that's good. Then we'll get the heat shrink tube down over it and then make it all 
nice and pretty. Make sure you don't have gas in your engine when you're doing this. I don't, I emptied it before I stored it inside, but still something to remember. All right, now we don't need to worry about disassembling anything else. Now let's get the spark plug wire on. Everything in place. This thing's kind of pesky. Okay, so let's put the flywheel back on. Make sure everything clears. Okay, once that's all torqued up, Get the recoil back on. Oh, all right. So I know I don't have the sprocket cover on. I'm not gonna go wild. I don't rev out chainsaws when I don't have the cover on. I think it's still tucked on the shelf back where I had it stored for the last year. So I'll have to dig that out, put a bar on, and then I'll take it outside after this. But just for the sake of argument, let's try it. Choke on. Oh, oh, oh. No decompression either. Mission on. That'll help. I wonder if I flooded it now. test is once it warms up, um, which I'll do once I have the bar on it and I'll leave it running outside for a bit, but uh, sounds pretty good. Let's see if it'll fire up again for us. So far so good. Pretty happy with that. Let's throw a bar on it. Okay guys, uh, as you can see here, we're in the middle of a huge snowstorm. Uh, you'll hear some neighbors with their snowblowers and whatnot, but uh, I wanted to show you this. Now the issue that we were having before with the previous ignition is that it would cut out uh, after about three or four minutes once it got warm. So I'm gonna start it up here, let it get warm. Uh, we'll do some revs and then see if the ignition is actually fixed. So the saw is cold, it's been sitting in the garage.
see there's some issues with the brake and killing the uh, the RPM down. So I'm thinking there's some clutch stuff that I have to work on there. Um, but you did see, hopefully you did see some of the oil, uh, the bar oil going down into the snow, indicating that the uh, the bar oiling system is working. Um, and other than that, some fine carb tuning stuff. Now we've replaced the ignition system, so it has a stronger spark. Uh, than before. So whatever adjustments were made prior to me owning it with the old ignition system which was failing, I'm going to have to tune as well. Thanks for watching the video guys. Uh, wow. It's heavy. It certainly sounds a lot healthier. The pickup is there and it's not dying off like it was um, with the previous ignition system. Hope you liked the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I've got tons of new content coming out this year. Uh, I'm still having a blast making these videos and I'm super excited to actually get this into some wood. Uh, I've got some cutting coming up in the spring so I'll be taking this saw along with me. No doubt that it's, uh, it's going to be a big performer. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.